And yeah, now it's time for the Titans, Maturans, Mox, and other things that I haven't put in yeah in the other in the other sections. And yeah, first of all, we're gonna start with the sets. Here we have Gresh, but I changed him a bit. You know, with another sword, another shield. I changed the shield. You know, uh, it has these things that it goes out, and another shoulder armor. And then we have Makuta with normal mask, and here we have Makuta with the movie version mask. And here we have the Exotoa, the Boxer, Toa Tahu Star, here we have the Nectan, Brutaka, Axon, and the Rotomakuta, here we have the, the green, uh, the green, uh, they are called, the green, you know the habitants of Baron Magna. Where wh what were they called? They were called the I remember the Agori, the Green Agori, and here we have the White Metru Matoran. Then don't remember the name, and we have here Akmu. I think. He was Akmu, but I mean, I lost his mask. You know, the Maturan which worked with Makuta. I think it was, he was called Akmu. And you know, I lost his mask. And I got this brown Matatu the last day when I bought the Boxer and the Exotoa. And yeah, so I put the mask on him, even if the, even if the Mata... If the Mata Brown is darker than the Metro one, but I mean it works out nice. And the good thing about the Matatu is that it's a misprint, so it's like, you know, the Matatu is in uh, brown, it's uh, like, you know, a limited edition. So I mean, I'm very proud of having him. And yeah, so let's start then with the mugs. You know, here I have like a Matura mug that I made. Here we have another Mataran mock that I made. And here we have, you know, a Turaga Matau. And as you see, he has a golden Kakama. Because when I bought it, he didn't come with the mask. So here we have Good Guy. She, It's my, my sister's favorite because of the Suddenly Orange series, the reviving Bionicle. If you haven't seen it, you haven't seen it, you have to see it, because I mean, if you like Bionicles, it's really fun to watch. And yeah, I recommend. Two, I recommend to search Suddenly Ranches, Suddenly Oranches, sorry, um, Revive Bionicle. And you will have number Revive Bionicle 1, 2, the sequel, and Three that has like four episodes, I think five, I don't remember, that are like 20 minutes long. So, if you don't know what to watch, watch that. It's really funny and I really like to watch it. And yeah, that's my sister's favorite because he really liked Good Guy. I don't know why, but you know. And here we have The Loner with Gali Mystica Mask. And... This was one of my first Bionicles. No, this was my first Bionicle. Did you know that I, um, that I have, you know, put like dirt here, you know, that dirt effect here, and you know the metal effect video I made. I'm gonna put it on the description. No, the um, and yeah, I'm gonna put on the description the series I made, like how to. With how to paint the Bionicle pieces, how to make the metal effect, and how to make the pieces look scratched and old. And yeah. And this is gonna be the... And he's gonna be the main character of the Return of the Toa series. 
So here we have him. And I know in the mock video, he had um, like a different like different weapons and different legs. No, different down legs and down arms. But it's because uh you know I got him a turtle the last day, but he didn't came with the hands with the you know the lower hand. So I had to take the white hands he had before and put it on him. But you can see I'm gonna put the videos of all the mock that I made a video of in the description so you can see them if you want to. And yeah. And yeah. There we have the loner. And here we have a mock. I haven't got a name. I did him like five four four I did him four days ago. And yeah. Yeah, he is not that special, so I don't think I'm gonna do a video about him. But here you see him. And yeah, Takanuva, Axon. And here we have Katanui. And he is made by Matanui Glatorian pieces. As you see. Because I lost his mask. Yeah, I lost his mask. That's a shame. I really hate that I lost his mask because that's the most important mask of all this story so that really sucks but what can I do I have lost it and here we have the mask maker he will be in the Return of the Toa series along with Katanui and the loner here and yeah he haven't got a name he haven't got an actual name first I called him Kimu but then I thought that it wasn't that cool to call him as, you know, the actual Kimu. So I called him the Mask Maker just to put a cool name. And yeah, we'll give him a name later on the series. But by now, he haven't got a real name. Because I don't really came. I, really, I can't really figure a cool name for him. But I will come out with a name soon, I think. I hope that. And yeah, I will put his video in the description and Catanuist too. And let's go on with I think the only one left is is Sigatrix, the Dark Hunter. And yeah, as you know, by his name, it's that he is a Dark Hunter and he is the biggest Bionicle his biggest mock I ever made and yeah I made him because I have like many pieces left because I bought uh, like a big lot of Baronicles and with that lot it came you know the the ultimate accessory set came with that lot so I thought why don't I build a dark hunter, you know, dark hunters that you that you can see on the internet and you know the official dark hunters they come with the dark hunter book, you know, where you have images of them. You know, they look like, you know, something similar like this. They ha they're not perfect. They are more they are made like by they are made by 2001 2004 pieces so that's why I built him because I have many of that pieces so I thought it will really be awesome to have like a dark hunter and the only bad thing with him with this guy is that it's so hard to put him right because he falls all the time because when I was doing the video you know see at this video it taught me like two hours to do all the photos <laughs> and I know the video haven't got that many images but with this guy it's almost impossible to post it because it falls time over time and yeah that's something I really hate about him but I mean I love him because he's freaking amazing even if he haven't got a perfect human body he's like so cool and yeah, he's really awesome to have finding a dark hunter, even if it's invented by me. But I mean, he's really cool. 
and yeah, you know, he's gonna be in the Return of the Toa series. I think it's gonna be like a uh, Makuta Light. The main villain for the Return of the Toa video will be Makuta and Stigatriz, I think. He will be like the second leader, something like that. So, and yeah. Yeah, that's all the titans I have. I know that I have a lot. I know that a lot is missing, like like Kitongu, like uh, Sidorak, like Rudak, Rutaka, like Gadok and Kadok, and um, you know the Rahis. They will be. They, it will be freaking amazing to have him, but I haven't got them. And you know, I haven't got the big Takanuva, and I haven't got many of the. You know, I haven't. I actually have a big lack in between the Pantoka and the Stars one. The Stars Bowenicles. And yeah, that's a mess, but I mean, what can I do? But I'm, I'm happy with my collection I have by now, because in the last year, my collection has grown a lot, because. Before I didn't have the Boxer, I didn't have the Exotoa, I didn't have the Makuta or the other Makuta, and I did I couldn't have I could not have built the the you know the Sigatrix, I could I could not have I would not have the the Takanua flying machine. I would wouldn't have got, you know, all the Toamatas I have here, and I wouldn't have had the Toanugas either. So my collection has grown a lot in the year. So I'm so happy with what I have, and I haven't. So that's basically everything I had to say. And yeah, one last thing is that I haven't got any of the. G2 Bionicles. I just have like some some knock off things that I found in a you know Chinese store and yeah But I mean one problem is I don't really like the G2 sets because for me they are too much like the at the Hero Factory but it would be cool to have but them. But I don't really like want to have them because I mean yeah they're not the original. Even if they are cool, but I mean don't doesn't matter too much to me having them or not having them. So and yeah guys, that's basically everything I have to say for today. That's all my Bionicle collection I have. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share it. Or whatever you want to do with the video. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Hope it inspired you for making like something awesome. And yeah, see you in the next video guys. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.